down the first Deemster and part of the rows, His Honour the second Deemster, and His Honour the Deemster, to be present to witness this sitting of the court. I call upon the Clerk of General to escort them to their places. President Tinwell then announcing that she invited the Lieutenant Governor and the Deemsters uh, to join the members of Tinwell in the church and we can now see on the big screen that they are almost all in place and we shall be proceeding then to the to the captioning of the acts. that when the Guard of Honour marches off at the end of the proceedings in the church, that the band will come back onto the field for about 10 minutes to entertain you all for a little longer. Your Excellency, Your Honours, I am pleased to welcome you to this sitting of Tinwald Court, at which we shall caption the legislation which has been enacted during the past year and present the Tinwald Honour. Please be seated, Honourable Members. Members of the Council, Mr Speaker, and Members of the House of Keys, we shall now caption the acts just promulgated on Tinwood Hill. We can see now that the acts are being brought forward to be signed first by the President and then by the Speaker of the House of Keys. This process is complete and it will only take a very few minutes. We will hear the President announce the investiture of Mr. Hector Duff with the Tinwald Honour.
recognition of those who serve the community. It is my privilege today to present the Tyndall Honour to Mr Hector Hugh MacDonald Duff. Among the criteria for earning this award is the expectation that the recipient has made an outstanding and selfless contribution over a significant period of time to one or more areas of Manx life. Hector Duff, now in his 90th, 95th year, has done that in good measure. Born in Sulby in 1919, he was called up at 19 years of age and served with the 7th Armoured Division in North Africa and Europe, being involved in the Normandy landings on D-Day. For his military service, he was awarded the Military Medal and very recently was made a Chevalier of the Légion d'Honneur. His military service was followed by 30 years as a police officer in the Isle of Man Constabulary. He established a reputation for being a firm but fair man, a man of integrity and diligence, who earned the respect of his working colleagues and indeed of all who know him today. Following a lifetime of public service, he has given as much time again in the 30 plus years since his retirement in support of charitable and voluntary organisations. His concern for servicemen and women, past and present, has manifested itself in the work he has done for many welfare and support charities as well as undertaking valuable research, recording and preservation of the heritage that is to be found in the many war memorials around our island. His empathy with young people has led him to be invited to many of our schools to recount to the young people his experience in practical detail of war leading to their greater appreciation and understanding of wars which could otherwise seem remote and of little relevance to their lives. Tyndall Court has determined to award the Tyndall Honour for this exemplary service. I invite the clerk to bring Mr. Duff forward to receive his award. Mr. Duff, there are two quotations which I think very well reflect the characteristics and the qualities which have brought you here today to receive the Tinwood Honour. The Bengali poet and Nobel Prize winner wrote these words. I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I woke and found that life was duty. I acted and found that the duty was joy. Honourable members, we know that there have been many episodes in Mr Duff's life which could not be described as joyful, but throughout all his public service and his voluntary service, his humanity, his energy, his positivity and his general joie de vivre have always shone through and touched those people with whom he came in contact. The second quotation is from a different source, from a clergyman and social reformer in the United States in the 19th century. He said, a reputation for good judgment, for fair dealing, for trust and for rectitude are in themselves a fortune. By that measure, we believe that Hector Duff is indeed a wealthy man because he's held in high esteem by everyone who knows him for all of those qualities, qualities which he has exercised throughout his life 
for the benefit of a great many other people. Hector, you're a wonderful example to all of us. I am very pleased and proud to present you with the Tinned Honour. Council, Mr. Speaker, and members of the House of Keys, that concludes the business of the court. Tinwood Court will now stand adjourned until Tuesday, the 15th of July 2014, at 10.30 in Douglas. I now call upon honourable members to stand for the departure of His Excellency and his party. Well, that concludes the ceremony in the church, and you heard there the voice of the deputy speaker, who is Mr. Leonard Singer, a member of the House of Keys for the constituency of Ramsey. The remaining members of Tinwald will now 
leave the church and the attention will turn to the main road outside where the guard of honor and uh, the band are waiting to march off as his excellency leaves st john's and as i said earlier i understand that the band will come back onto the field in order to entertain us for about 10 minutes more the guard of honor will march off to the assembly point and so as we approach the end of the Tynwald ceremony itself, do please remember that Tynwald Day is a public holiday. You've got a day off, and it's a fair day. You ask a Manxman, are you going to the fair this year? You don't need to explain which fair, everyone knows what you mean. And these days, you don't need to go anywhere else for your entertainment. You can get it right here at St. John's during the rest of the day. There'll be live music of all kinds and many other forms of entertainment here on the field, in the Arboretum behind the grandstand, in the Royal Chapel, even in Coolery Gardens and on Tynwald Hill itself. And the Vikings of Man will reenact their very first Tynwald ceremony right here on the field at 10 o'clock tonight. And two events that you may like to know about that will be going on all afternoon until 4 o'clock. In the school, just across the main road, you can take part in various activities, artistic activities, including wood carving, mosaics, and even Manx dancing. And in the Arboretum, behind the grandstand, the One World Centre is hosting a global village where you can experience Manx connections from around the world. And the day will end this evening at 10.30 with the Ellen Vannon Pipes and Drums on Tynwald Hill at 10.30, as I say. And if you'd like to hear the band again, there'll be an opportunity this evening at 7.15, when the band of the Royal Air Force Regiment will beat retreat right here on the field at St. John's. And of course, on any fair day like today, there are stalls. Today, we've lots of them laid out behind the grandstand in aid of many good causes. They'll be delighted to see you. And so that ends the public address commentary on the symbol ceremony for 2014. However you decide to spend the rest of the Manx National Day, do make sure you enjoy it. It only comes round once a year. This is Ian Campbell with Bill Dale. Thank you very much for your attention. Good amoy, as fast am I.